Appreciate it. Hey, how's everybody doing? Yeah, yeah. So how many people in here are gonna vote for Ronald E. Craig Club? Make some noise. Yeah, yeah. That was made in China. Huh? That hat was made in China. <laughs> it was. <laughs> and, and guess what? This, this, uh, this, this, five, this, this, uh, this, this one piece I'm gonna give you is made in America. <laughs> but guess what? I forgot one thing. I ain't got my secret service with me, so I'm gonna leave you alone. You know, if I had Nuck Nuck, Ray Ray, and Pookie, aka my secret service, we'd have some problems with you. Or, uh, Bert, or Billy Ray, or, uh, Tiny. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter. I could, I could have three rednecks or three hood figures. It don't matter, man. You know, you're talking to an RN cubed right here. How many people here gonna vote for Black Trump? Make some noise. Yeah, yeah. Hey, come on, dog. You gonna do that right in front of my face, man? On my stage time, bro? Come on, now. that's messed up, man. You could at least, you know, wait, wait till like, you know, you were like over there and I'm like, yeah. That was. He just straight up said, I ain't voting for your black ass. It's because I'm black too. If I was white, I, th I, think, uh, I think I would probably get some more votes, but you know, it's all good. So I'm about to get honest with y'all. There's two types of black guys in um, Atlanta. There's black guys that have the big black dick, and there's black guys that um, have good credit. I just want y'all to know I pay my bills on time. I just want y'all to know what team I play for. I got arrested once for streaking. Guess what happened? I got that case dismissed due to lack of evidence. <laughs> I remember one time this white girl was like, I'm so excited to finally get some BBD. And I was like, well, baby, you getting some baby black dick tonight. She had the nerve, the nerve to, to uh, give me some head while talking on the phone at the same damn time. Make matters worse, her friend was like, how are you um, giving head and talking on the phone at the same time? And she was like, it's not that hard. It's just like two on the Tic Tac and talking on the phone. Ladies, just so you know, I can freshen your breaths. So I did want to talk a little bit more about policies. How many people in here are single? Make some noise. Where are my single fellas at? I'm, I'm gonna put into, into legislation the ADA. That is called the Affordable Date Act. So that way you don't have to like, you know, struggle, you know, to pay your bills. And then you gotta like struggle like, fuck, I gotta pay this, spend all my damn money on this date. We're gonna pass the Affordable Date Act. Where, you know, if you're on a date, you won't spend more than a two for 20 at Applebee's. How's that sound, single fellas? No more than a two for 20 at Applebee's. I can see my man here probably spent more than 20 getting some food. <laughs> you spent more than 20. Pretend I'm a black cat. I like it. How long y'all been kicking it for? How long have y'all been dating? Seven years. Seven years. Yeah. Have y'all taken the relationship to the next level? Have you heard this man fart yet? Have you heard this man fart? Okay, then yeah, you took it to the next level. You seen doo-doo stains in his drawers? <laughs> You have, buddy. Well, yeah, y'all. Yeah, hey, y'all are there. <laughs> that 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 is a win. Like, if you ask this man, you are there. Like for real. You hear me fart? You see doo doo says about draws? Fuck a ring. Shit. Last time I got married, I almost got killed for my life insurance policy. So fuck that. <laughs> so, but yeah, it it is um been, been an interesting 2020 for sure. Um. Uh, anybody have a cool COVID story or anything anything that, that they did like kind of different? Just gain weight and, and um, drink a lot of beer and ate a lot of food? What's your poison? Yeah. Gin, okay. Gin and juice. What's your poison, nurse? French fries. French fries? Well, I'm going to be honest with y'all. My Obamacare got repealed when this, when, since this imbecile's been in office. I'm trying to get on Cougar Care right now. The new healthcare provider of America. Cougar Care, and then for my old old fellas, we got Silver Fox Care. Do you ladies like younger men? No, she's young. She's really I can tell she's young. I said, what about you, nerd? Yeah, I'll take whatever's fun. You'll take whatever's fun? Well, I can promise you, I am fun size. And I will have fun with you. <laughs> Oh, I mean, wait. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you know. 
we won't have to whisper, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'll be honest with y'all, I'm not a nice guy. Nice guy is a definition of a future serial killer. He was such a nice guy. Oh, and he just shot up the whole school. I'm a fun guy. I suck toes and I lick booty holes. I have real fun. <laughs> I know nurses like, damn. You, you worked in a hospital too long. You're like, you're thinking of the worst one you have seen. I've seen some toes. It like, like I, I like, you know, toes that just got a pedicure type toes. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I see dying people's toes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, uh, uh, I can't eat that. I can't lick that. As far as booties, like, I like mine to look like I'm going to Whole Foods. I like mine gluten free, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Like, if you don't have a gluten-free diet, or you don't eat organic or vegan or something, I can't do it. You know, like, if, you, if your diet's at Taco Bell, the last thing, I'm gonna be mad as hell if you say, eat my ass. I'm gonna be like, fuck no. Fuck out of here with that shit. Nah, my man here is looking at me like, is he really talking about eating ass on stage while looking this damn clean? Uh, yeah, I got problems. One of my problems is not being sober. I mean, you can have 99 problems going on. Being sober shouldn't be one of them. And as I tell people, I don't have a drinking problem, but my drinking can become a problem. A lot of people don't realize that's two of a different type of things. And I had a lot of dream jobs growing up. I didn't always want to be a politician or a comedian. Back when I was 10, I used to be number 10 on the haircut chart. Just me with a fade like this, go ahead and buy number 10. But y'all can see my hair, my hairline ain't the best right now. I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of pushed back. I used to want to be a football player, but every time I played football, I played tight end. I was tight within the bench. <laughs> Only time I get some playing time when I was up, when the team was up by 40 or down by 40. Basketball, they had to play for me. It was called the ass back play. Every time I check in the game, they say, bring your bitch ass back to the bench. And then I just want to be an investor, and I've got an investment proposition for the crowd. I'm signing autographs for $5 a piece because it's going to be worth more than that one day. I'm selling these hats for $15. And if you guys have liked what you have saw, me coming up here, laying down the law, then please go ahead and invest this five so I can keep my dreams alive. If you want to go ahead and buy a hat, they're only 15 and that would be really good for me to stay lean. So I can go ahead and buy me a gram of weed. For me, it does such a good deed. And if you really liked what I was saying, when you go to the poll, write in Ronald E. Craig Clump for president. Y'all been all that a bag of chips. If you want to get a hat, see me. If you want to follow me on social media, I am Ronald Clump 2020. And on Facebook, I'm Ronald E. Craig Clump. I'm out. Guys, don't pout. Yeah. Ronald E. Craig Love, everybody.